All right, guys. Before I get started on this, one other thing I wanted to mention. Um, as far as body filler and what have you, I don't use it much. I use it to fill um, um, joints in the frame where I've done frame stretches and stuff like uh, on this truck when I shaved the uh, cab lights and the air horns on it. Anyway, uh, the, this the Tamiya stuff. I got this at Hobby Lobby and. Totally unimpressed with it. it. It shrinks down so bad, it was ridiculous. So I asked the guys at R&E at the body shop, paint shop, what they suggested, and this is a uh, Prono Combi Spot Putty. Uh, just any spot putty they said will do. It's pretty much all the same stuff. You can get it at your body shop, probably the local parts store. Um, make sure you have something backing behind it, like if you go to fill uh, air horn holes on your trucks. Um, make sure you've got you fill the hole with like super glue or something hard to uh, give this a backing to go into, or it'll suck down in a little bit, which I made the mistake on that truck. And they sank just a little bit after about three weeks after I did it, but I'm not fixing it. So anyway, if I was building it for somebody else, I would, but it's mine, so who cares? Anyway, all right, now uh, we're gonna go ahead and lay this silver on this truck. <coughs> Now this will be the first of two colors that I said. This will be the first color, the sterling silver. Second color will be Viper GPS Blue. And I think I'm going to do a waterfall paint job on it where it's going to be silver on the top and blue from about the windows down. So if you want to have not tried yet, we'll see how it turns out. Anyway, um, I know everybody else does it. From my experience, from having friends that painted cars, worked in body shops and what have you, you always want to lay your lighter color down first uh, when you do a two-tone paint job. So anyway, let's see if this stuff's going to turn out all right. You see, I'm in my living room. I don't have a shop or a garage. I wish I did, but I've got an understanding wife and a, a big drop cloth. So <laughs> anyway, we're going to do it. All right. <clears throat> now, first coat here is probably be. Mm, I'll probably do three coats on this one. I'm going to see how it lays out first, but uh, I just start out, really no way to explain the words, I'll just let you watch, about 10, 12 inches away, just real light spray, light strokes, make sure you kind of go up from the bottom too on everything, you don't want to leave uh, stuff uncovered. Actually looks like it's laying really good. Now you see my little uh, my little turntable here is a Tamiya, Tamiya, however it's pronounced, uh, workstation type thing. Um, I got it at Hobby Lobby. I think it was twenty five dollars. Comes with four of these clips. And another nice thing about it, if you buy little small uh, roach clips like you use for tester connections what have you, like for electrical work, they'll slip right in these little holes and slots around it too, so I've got the fenders sitting over there on the table that I'm going to do in the blue and uh, along with the chassis and other stuff, but you can put quite a few different things on here, or like when I painted this truck, I uh, since the cab didn't come apart on the 9400, I take uh, the toothpicks and glue them in there to make a stand for the truck to sit on and then spray it that way and of course you just turn it and spray away it works really well and this stuff looks like it's covering really well so it's probably going to be a probably just a two, two, uh, two coat job so anyway when you get done spraying with your paint can, always make sure you turn it upside down and spray just until um, the paint quits coming out and it'll clear your nozzle. So, excuse me. Anyway, um, drying times. Uh, when I'm painting this stuff, I'll probably let it sit 10 to 15 minutes in between coats just to get good and uh, it won't even be tacky by then. It'll, it'll be dry to the touch, but it'll still be soft. Um, that being said, when I paint a truck or whatever, I'll do my first uh, tier three, you know, 
coats here with this color and I'll let it sit for about a week because what happens is you want to let it harden real good because uh, when I've done them in the past like the first truck I two-toned was that blue and white 9400 when I was putting it back together like pressing the floorboard into it I was squeezing pretty good and I was leaving little fingerprints in the in the paint, oh, actually in the clear. <clears throat> um, and when it happens, if they're not bad, you can take like your t-shirt and just hold it and rub it out. And they'll usually buff out, but some of them didn't, so that was kind of a part of my learning curve when I started doing them. So anything I do now, it, it sits for a week before I touch it again. So. Anyway, we're going to let this dry for a few minutes and I'll come back and hit it with the second coat and uh, we'll go from there.